Uh, it's Ed Rushman, Whitestone Journal. It's the Monday after the retreat. That's always an interesting uh, experience. I imagine that uh, a lot. I'm looking to get clearance on the cars here. Oops. Okay, peel out on this one. You can see that car is a little not too close behind me. Anyway, now it's back to work for me and school for others. I had a nice time uh, in many ways, but you know, a retreat at least for me, uh, maybe for you, leaves more questions, creates more questions than answers. Sometimes we get a taste of something that we want. Sometimes we get a taste of some joy and, and then we're trying to figure out, you know, what does that mean or how do I continue that or, or how did I lose it already? You know, that kind of thing. Uh, I have joy off and on all the time off and on. It just depends. There's moments of great joy and moments where I just can't. I just can't make life work. It's just the way it is. Uh, but now I'm heading out to work and I'm going to try to do the best I can. Some people aren't happy with me right now. And I'll have to deal with that. And probably what I'll do is just do, I mean, I, you know, they've got a point. I think they're probably right. And I will do what I can to focus where I need to. But you know, one of the questions that's left is that not everybody gets a lot out of a weekend like that. Uh, everybody, I think, gets something. But you may find that there's some things that just didn't work for, for you. Some things don't work for me. If some of you were watching, you might have figured out already. You know, for me, what works or doesn't or not. But anyway... Uh, the trick is a lot to go find how we find God and, and where God, where we have to stand, almost like it's where we have to be for God to find us. And I know that sounds silly because, you know, God knows where we are and everything, but sometimes it's just figuring out what works for us. And honestly, what works for me is a lot of different things at different times. And when I've talked to somebody, you know, that, that should know or does know, uh, one of uh, the leaders, you know, on the retreat or, you know, a priest, and I've been to confession to a lot of priests, uh, you know, sometimes they have a way, you know, that they can recommend. It's their own experience. And, and when they've done that, I've taken that sometimes and found some new thing that worked for me. So if you went to confession and Father suggested something, really try it. Because, you know, it, it, there's probably at least some piece of it that works for you. And if it doesn't, then it's a little bit like uh, Edison inventing the light bulb. After a lot of them didn't work, a lot of the light bulbs didn't work right, he said, okay, well now I know a thousand ways not to make a light bulb. So if you try something and it doesn't work for you, give it a good try. Give it more than one. And if it doesn't work, then, okay, then you know what? Maybe it doesn't work for you now. It may work later. But it's not a matter of you're not open to God now. If you're watching this, you're open to God. Because I see, you know, how many people, I don't watch, who does it? I don't know. But I, you know, I can tell how many people actually watch the videos. And it's not that many. So... If you're watching it, you've already taken a step. Let this, the fact that you're hearing me right now, let that be evidence that you are looking, you're trying, and that you are open to God. Because you didn't have to do this. And, and you wouldn't have done it if you weren't open. What that means, I don't know. You have to work it out. I'm working it out. Don't let that discourage you that I'm old and I'm still working things out. This is life. This is what... And there's a joy in working it out. There's a joy of discovery. And uh, it's kind of funny because, you know, when you get married or, or you're going to get married, they say, oh, you know, you want to keep the romance alive. You want to keep the, the excitement of being a, a new couple and everything. And, and you want to keep that alive. But that's the way it is with, at least for me, it's the way it is with, with God and me, is that it's a constant, the, con the relationship is constantly changing, 
it's constantly new and I learn all the time it, it just it never ends so I try to think of that if I get discouraged that I haven't made more progress because at least I'm still learning at least there's still new things occurring and in all this um, God is with us and God is good uh, and it hasn't changed he's still he's still my sorry he's still my best friend he's still the one that loves me when nobody else is even aware I'm existing uh, and I never forget. Or if I do, then I painfully get remembered. I remember later because uh, then I realize I forgot and I feel bad about that. Uh, because this is what I want. So I'm going to go to work. I'm going to do the best job I can. God will help me in whatever way he chooses. Uh, and as much as I allow him to help. Because God, as Rigo said, God is a gentleman. He doesn't force himself in on us. And uh, that's a good thing to remember. I thought that was really well said. There was a lot in this weekend that was really, really cool. Um, thank you again. Uh, if you're watching this and you were on my uh, in my family, that's great. Thank you. I really appreciated you being there with me. Um, if you're in my class uh, only, then thanks. And uh, if we played football together, that was really fun. <laughs> I really enjoyed that a lot. That was just like the best. Um, you know, I find God in just playing football with you. So, God's everywhere. God is good. All the time. <laughs> no, I can't say that without saying that. Uh, Ed Rushman, Whitestone Journal. If you weren't on the retreat, some of this maybe, maybe didn't make sense. That's okay. Uh, praise God. <laughs>